Elena and I'm back with another vlog and today I'm starting my travel vlog because I'm in Hong Kong at the moment with my cousin and we thought it would be fun to film a few travel vlogs actually not really us probably just me um, but you know she kind of agreed to it so yeah she's in hey. this with me <laughs> do you want to introduce yourself do I have to yes okay <laughs> hi my name is Asunta nice to meet you yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's my cousin. We're 16 days apart and we basically grew up like sisters. So, um, yeah. And we're going I'm to explore Hong me. Kong and it's her first time in Hong Kong. Obviously, I've lived here for two years. And today we're going to go to the book fair because I haven't bought enough books already. I mean, we literally arrived yesterday. We haven't even been here for 48 hours and I already have three new books. Yeah, you bought them in the first five hours that we were here. Yeah, that's just kind of my thing. You know, like when you go to Ikea and like you go there to buy like, I don't know, maybe candles and then like you walk out and you have like a bed, seven pillows and a new table and you just don't know how it happened. That's me with bookstores, just that I don't actually need anything. But yeah, it just happens. So um, I have these new books and I bought the free ones on top here. So Love Looks Pretty on You, Why Nations Fail and The Price of Inequality. And those two I already brought with me. And yeah, maybe we're gonna buy some more at the book fair. Um, I don't know. Um, but this was recommended to me um, by someone on my Instagram account. So thank you so much for the recommendation. And now we're gonna eat um, our lovely breakfast. Um, absolutely not sponsored by Hello Kitty. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be our breakfast. And they actually, like inside the noodles, they have these like little things um, in the dry food, which um, looks like Hello Kitty. I'm just gonna insert a clip here. Um, which is pretty cool. I don't think it will still look like that like once the water is on it. But yeah, so we're gonna eat that and then oh we're no, gonna I go. Just... ASMR from your new favorite ASMR artist, Asunta. <laughs> we look a little bit dead um, because going to the book fair was um, a bit exhausting. Um, but it was good, right? It was. So it was like, it was $25, but that's fine. Um, but I thought there were gonna be more English books. Um, because, no. yeah, like, we, we walked through, like, some of the floors and there was just, like, basically nothing. But then we found these few, um, stores which did sell English books. And, yeah, then, you know, things just happened. And somehow I now have more books, um, which was unexpected. But, Not yeah. Not really. Hi. Hi. What up? So we decided to go to Starbucks because my cousin said it's her treat. Um, and before that, we went shopping. We got the most important part. Asanta, you love it, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's awesome. I never tried it before yesterday, but I know. And we also bought like a lot of other essential stuff, mainly sushi. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and now we're just gonna treat ourselves to some dinner. Um, Asanta is trying to you know, get her dinner. Sushi. Um, meanwhile, <laughs> I already ate my strudel because I was really hungry and um, now I'm having chips because I'm a very healthy person. Um, there is a what I eat in a day coming soon, but it's only going to be filmed when I'm back at Cambridge. Because you and have McDonald's there, like immediately, I know. No, not because of McDonald's, but because my friend Sijin would like to narrate it. Um, because I feel like if I narrated it, then it would just be a justification of eating junk food 24-7. So I think a sane person will narrate it and that will make it better. And now we're just going to engage in our guilty pleasure, which is watching Christian cringe videos. Because that's kind of our thing. Also, by the way, this is what the view from our hotel room is like. Um, wow, you can really see it well with the light on. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I'm just going to insert a clip now where I filmed it. I can't eat with those. <laughs> <laughs> this is not going well. Well, you're gonna have to figure it out because those are the only chopstick thingies that you're gonna get. I'm going to eat with a fork. Yeah, thank you. So yeah, we're just gonna engage in our guilty pleasure a bit more. Um, we don't have anything against the Christian religion. I just wanna make that clear. No. Um, but there are just some very interesting Christian channels on YouTube which promote mm. some things which, in my opinion, aren't exactly healthy. Um, and there are just some really, really great reactions out there, so that's what we do, you know, for fun. 
Okay, um, so right now it is 1.46 in the morning. We're so going to regret this. Yeah, we are going to regret this. Um, but basically, we have jet lag, but we don't know why because we did get up at 8am this morning, but we just can't fall asleep. We've been entertaining each other for the past hours, and now we're starting to get tired of each other. By entertaining, you mean you annoying me? Yeah, basically. Um, but now we're kind of running out of things to do, and we've tried to sleep, but it just doesn't work. And you know, whenever I don't feel well, I go to McDonald's, which is probably not a good thing, but you know, it works for me. So now we're going to McDonald's. Good morning, it is not really morning anymore because it is 1 p.m. because we overslept until 12 30 but we did have an alarm at 10 but it just kind of didn't ring i don't know maybe we just overslept it and 10 30. huh and 10 30. yeah so we had two alarms 10 and 10 30 it just didn't work out so uh now we're on our way to Moncock because we are going to meet up with a friend of mine who i went to school with and we're going to get some food which is kind of our breakfast and lunch because i mean you don't really need breakfast at 12 30 anyway so that's what we're going to do today and then we're just going to explore Moncock a little and that's pretty much the plan for today because we always slept the entire morning. So here's my friend Christy who we went to lunch with and she's a pretty crazy person but she's really really awesome and she also has a YouTube channel which you can find in the info box and then she also showed us that you can make these buns puke Although she insisted that it doesn't look like it's puking, but in my opinion it does. But you guys can let us know in the comments what you think of it. the next day and we're gonna go to the Australia Dairy Company to have breakfast because my friend Sijan told me that I haven't really lived in Hong Kong since I had never been there and I didn't even know the place existed so now I'm gonna go there and then I can finally say that I really lived here and that I had the full experience so we're gonna go get breakfast and then we're probably gonna come back here because the weather forecast isn't that great it says it's gonna rain a lot and there are gonna be thunderstorms so we're probably just gonna stay in read a little bit and just chill um, because, you know, holidays are also just about relaxing, so we don't have to, you know, be out and about every day. So that's pretty much the plan for today. I just had bread for the first time in almost a week and I'm so happy and I had cheese and I had scrambled eggs and I'm <gasps> Asuja is basically in heaven right now because yeah. this morning she was really grumpy about getting bread. So yeah, I need my bread. <laughs> I'm European. I need my bread. So German. So now we're gonna go to H&M because I need a swimsuit and I need gym clothes because um, she's taking me to the gym. Yes, you heard that right, the gym. Yeah. Um, like so we're gonna go actual there. Actual exercise. We're gonna vlog it. It's gonna be entertaining. I also need Pringles. Um, because you know like they have these things in a treadmill and people think it's for water but it's for Pringles No, it's really not. I work in the gym, it's really not. I'm gonna bring the Pringles
ready to go to the gym. So I said I was just gonna do my hair because if I go to the gym for the first time in my life, you know, I, I need a gym hairstyle. <laughs> just a ponytail, you know, just the ponytail. Well, I wanted Dutch braids, so she's giving me Dutch braids. And I got the most important part for going to the gym, which is Pringles. Um, because those water holders aren't water holders, they're Pringles holders, okay? No. I believe in that. Um, so I'm gonna bring these and Asanta, she's actually training to become a professional fitness trainer So, um, she is gonna practice on me basically And you know, if she can get my unhealthy ass to do anything Then I think she basically well, I should I think pass. you will do it when I'm not there, you know? <laughs> yeah, but like, that I even do it when you're there is like a lot Yeah, I know Guys, this is proof, I didn't chicken out, I'm here And we're going to the gym I'm actually doing it Yeah, I know But Let's see how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm here. Um, I don't really know how to use stuff, but I'm, I'm here. I'm going to explain it to you. Hi. <gasps> the view is really great, though. Ten seconds later. You kidding? I leave you alone for like five seconds to get a mat. You eating? <laughs> Sorry. Who the fuck brings Pringles to the gym? Oh my god. No. 18, 19, 20. <sighs> Jesus. Okay, this was kind of okay so far. But this is exhausting. And I feel like I haven't done a lot, <laughs> right? But that's okay, you're not trained, you don't need to do a lot. You're just starting with the basics. Yeah, it's, it's all about starting, guys. Um, and I'll probably never come back to a gym, but I started, and that's something. So it's an everyday and I haven't really vlogged in the last two days because we did one chill day where we basically stayed in bed um, And then oh, yesterday we wanted to go studying in the library But it turns out you can't get into the library unless you like book a spot beforehand um, So we instead went to a coffee shop and studied there for a while because our exams don't care that we have holidays no. And now we're gonna go to a rainbow building which is hopefully very Instagrammable because It is yeah, hopefully because we want some great pictures because so far like we had a really great time But we haven't really taken any pictures. No, we or tried to yesterday. But yeah, but we, we don't really look good in them failed. So yeah, well, hopefully Photoshop will save us. So yeah, we're gonna I go there that's now. that's about the only thing that can save us now. Yeah um, So we're gonna go there now and after that we're gonna go to the peak later tonight um, Which is like the place where you can see like onto Hong Kong, which is really really beautiful and Yeah, we're gonna take you guys with us and we made it and honestly the colors are a lot more faded than it looked in the pictures but photoshop can save us and Asuncha is already doing her hair again <laughs> um, so we're gonna just you know go here take a few pictures and yeah that's pretty much the plan also it says no ball games on all of the walls which I don't really get because this is a basketball court but hey Asuncha how hot is the ground? <laughs> in the words of Kylie Jenner I think we could boil an egg on it <laughs> Well, you gotta do it for the pictures. Do it for the grand. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, I'm sweating. I'm doing it. You ready? No. We'll just, you know, insert a few pictures that we took now so that you guys can see that this was worth it. Because okay, so we've been to the apparent tourist highlight and sweaty. we're just super sweaty. This yeah. is what it looks like in case, you know, any of you guys are thinking of coming here. Um, yeah, in conclusion, it's really hot up there. And we're back at our hotel now. So we had some dinner, and I'm just gonna insert the video here now. So we had these amazing peanut butter sauce noodles. I absolutely loved them. Um, they're normally with meat, but you can get them without meat. Um, and yeah, I just really love the place. So we actually did end up going to Ma Chan, which is really close to where I used to live. Um, and now we're back, and now our plan is to go to the peak. But well, we're kind of dead. But we're gonna no. go to the peak anyway because we have to be good tourists so we have to have been there uh -huh. and it's better to go there um, on a weekday rather than you know on the weekend so that's why we're doing this today because it's Thursday so yeah that's the plan also I found some really really nice jewelry in this mall in Maon Chan I really really like it like I got this um, thing for my hair hope you guys can see it and then I got um, these little things and I don't know, I really like them. Like a lot of stuff from my hair and some really, really cute earrings. 
I just really love them. I think they're so cute. And I also got these ones. So yeah, that was a good visit. Um, and now we're just gonna go to the peak and hopefully it will be good. Today we're gonna go to a reservoir and we're hopefully gonna get some of these funny bicycles um, I used to do that a lot um, with my house back when I was in boarding school so I hope I'm gonna find the place and we can do that it was a lot of fun at least I remember it as a lot of fun so I hope it will be fun so that's what we're gonna do today and I sent it my hair today and I'm just gonna insert a clip here of what it looks like from the back because I'm really really proud of it I don't know I feel like a little princess right now um, so yeah, I just put all my hair up because it's quite windy there, at least if my memory serves me right. And now we're going to go on quite a trip to even just get there because it's literally at the other end of Hong Kong. Um, but I think it will be worth it. So yeah, let's go! Hi! <laughs> Jump in, loser. We're going shopping. <laughs> Guys, we made it. We have a pink bicycle and we're on our way. Some sort of bicycle. Yeah, it's not really a bicycle. That's on top, how was the way up? It was rough. Yeah, it was really rough. Like always. It was, it was really rough. Um, but this place is so worth it. I don't know why they're ringing the bell because they're not that close to us yet. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, oh, Tope. Tope. What's the name of that? What are Tope. That thing. I don't know what my cousin means, but anyway, guys. In Spanish is called Topish. If you guys know what she means, comment. Um, the hill we have to do not on a hill. The thing on the ground that we have to drive over. A stopper? I don't know. I, I don't know either. Watch out. Slowly. Okay, ah. okay, so guys, this is the view. This is so pretty here. Um, I'm gonna link um, the Google Maps menu for this here down below. It's so pretty and not a lot of tourists come here for some reason, which is great because it means you don't have to queue up, you can just come, you don't need to book anything in advance. And this is a lot of fun. Yeah, we're pretty sweaty, um, but now we're gonna go back and it's probably gonna take like an hour to two hours to just get back to the hotel. Because we took a route which, yeah, was pretty dumb kind of because we had to change a lot of time. I don't know, there's probably a better way if you take like different buses, but I just never really figured the buses out, although I lived here for two years. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do now. We're probably gonna chill a little bit in a hotel. We might just jump into the pool. Yeah. Um, and then we're gonna meet up with some of my friends later for dinner. And that's pretty much the plan for today because we're done with our lives. <laughs> it's exhausting, but it was good, right? It was really good. I had the time of my life. Same. I felt like we were like, you know, like 12 year olds again, kind of. We were just playing. We used to do that a lot, actually. Yeah. Driving around with bicycles and whatnot. Yeah, although we almost, I always fell off. Yeah, <laughs> you did. Good morning, guys. It's the next day, and I somehow forgot to film an outro to the vlog last night because we were back quite late um, because we did have dinner with my friends, and then we also did a little bit of shopping, and I may or may not have bought a few more books, which, you know, mistakes were made. It's fine. Um, but I think they're good books. And I also found a new jumpsuit, which is great because I was actually looking for one, and I think it looks really, really great. Um, we were in a really random mall in Causeway Bay, um, but I really, really like this I think it looks great and it's you know something different that I don't think I would have easily found um, back home so that's why I'm really glad that I got this one but it was really really nice last night and just the day yesterday was so much fun and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the entire vlog it's definitely really great to be back in Hong Kong but obviously um, right now it's a very difficult time for Hong Kong because of the protests and you know everything surrounding the extradition bill and if you guys want to know how we felt about that and you know being back while having all of that going on I wrote an entire post on my blog about it and it's linked in the info box below for you guys thank you guys so much for watching have a nice day bye